My name's Mark Anderson. I'm a director at Academy of Geomatics here in the northeast of England. We are a geospatial expert survey company and we also use the LAS3 as a service provider. So we use the LAS3 as a great tool for our, to expand our surveying toolbox. It also helps us to save time on site in certain situations, but also there's a massive safety implication by using it without having to use man entry as a final solution. At the moment, we are using the survey grade LiDAR system and the explosive gas sensor. The LES3 has brought quite a few benefits to the company. It allows us to work in some fairly challenging conditions a lot quicker, a lot safer. It avoids man entry in a lot of cases, and we're not sacrificing any survey accuracy. For us, it's never just about a product, it's about the suite of products that we offer. It's never just about one thing, it's about the, the end results. And with the Elios 3, we can deliver the end results to above what the client expects. So our typical use applications for the Elios 3 are sewers and underground utility spaces. We need to survey these so we can reference them to what's on the surface so that utility companies know where their assets are. So these spaces are typically difficult to access historically because you need confined space access. Um, this involves a lot of men on site, um, it's very dirty work, it's quite dangerous at some times, so being able to use the Elios 3 to get us into these spaces in a far quicker time uh, is, a, is a massive advantage for us. My name is Jamie, uh, I am a senior surveyor and drone pilot. I work at Academy Geomatics. I've been flying the Elios 3 for about a year. The biggest difference it's made to my inspections is the georeferencing and being able to put it all on grid and avoiding the necessity for man entry. Man entry is a problem because it, it puts people in danger when there's no need to. The purpose of today's uh, survey flight was to one, inspect the sewer that we have and second also to, to accurately survey it. In this case the client wanted a video inspection and also wanted accurate survey data of the pipe because they don't know where it is and nobody's seen in it for many many years. The way we've approached the survey is pretty much like every other survey we do, best practice good quality control, total station measuring all our uh, checkerboards for the terrestrial scanning. We've terrestrially scanned those in. We've done inverted terrestrial scans down the, the manhole, down the shaft. And then from there, we're able to bolt on the Elios 3 data and have it checked at the far end with the other quality data that we've collected. The key deliverables from this survey were one, the, the video inspection data, which is critical for understanding how bad the sewer is. And second is the geospatial point cloud that we're able to digitize and overlay on the topographical survey that we've done at ground level. Without the LAS3, this job would actually be quite difficult. Not only would we have to make confined space entry into these manholes, we'd also have to do best survey practice along these pipes, which would be time consuming and have uh, guys in quite a dangerous position because the sewer is in quite a bad state of repair. So now that we're back in the office from our site work, We'll download all our data sources. Uh, the LS3 will download through Inspector and we can then export the data out of Inspector into Faro Connect and then we can post-process our geospatial data. And then we can marry that up with our terrestrially laser scan data and finally check it and then get it all digitized up. In my experience, clients have loved the LS3. They've loved how we can visualize the chambers we're flying into in the field and they're really impressed with the point clouds and the data that we get out of it. So we actually consider this to be a survey grade solution. We've tested it in our office in multiple locations. The survey accuracy that we've achieved from this is 20 mil. It's tied in with our terrestrial stuff to the, to the order of 20 mil, which is far better than you're gonna get by any other method on this particular job. The LS3 has brought to us an extra toolkit for us to unleash into the sewer network. It allows us to do things faster and quicker and just as rigorous as uh, traditional methods, but it's also allowed us to expand into places where we can't survey traditionally and produce a result that nothing else can.